Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 348. Coagulation Cascade Components. Procoagulation. What enzyme helps the conversion of oxidized vitamin K to reduced vitamin K? The enzyme that helps the conversion of oxidized vitamin K to reduced vitamin K is epoxide reductase. Why is vitamin K important in coagulation? The reason vitamin K is important is because it serves as a cofactor in the conversion of a lot of precursor clotting factors to their mature form, such as clotting factor 2, 7, 9, and 10, as well as protein C and S. So what would happen if a person has vitamin K deficiency? In case of vitamin K deficiency, it would lead to a decrease in synthesis of factor 2, 7, 9, 10, as well as protein C and S. What drug inhibits the enzyme epoxide reductase? Epoxide reductase is inhibited by the drug warfarin. One additional thing to note here is that neonates lack enteric bacteria which produce vitamin K. So because of this, neonates are required for vitamin K supplementation at time of birth. One additional side note here is that one Willebrand factor is what carries and protects factor A. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.